Hello there, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing the Summer Earth Love subscription box. Earth Love is a quarterly subscription box that delivers beauty, home goods, items such as that to your doorstep. So this box does contain a natural products. It is cruelty free, 100% organic. The packaging and its contents are recyclable and all of these products are fair trade. Let's open it up and see what is inside. You do get a magazine every quarter, the Wild and Free magazine. This does give you information about the products that are within this box as well as their retail value. And it also does include some articles. It also does include a letter from the founder, Serena. So each quarter, Earth Love does feature some topics of discussion for their community. So for this quarter, we have creating good eco habits, conserving salmon, and five zero waste kitchen swaps. Earth Love is quickly becoming one of my favorite subscription boxes just because I do find that each box contains things. Sorry, there's a cat here. We have my helper, Francis. He's here today. Anytime I open a subscription box, he always comes and is like, ooh, I need to get in the box right away. So uh, where was I going with this? Yes, so nearly every product in my past Earth Love boxes I found to be extremely useful in my everyday life. I will be linking that playlist down below for my previous Earth Love unboxing so that you can check out the contents that came in those past boxes, as well as a link to Earth Love's website so that you can check out the products for yourself and the subscription for yourself and see which one is right for you. So first up is a tea item. These are some organic herbal cold infused teas. Sometimes when the script is really, really small, it is difficult for me to read. This is the Tizan, I hope I am saying that correctly, tea from ginger and jaggery cold infusions. In the write-up it says that this infusion of Ayurvedic herbs is crafted with the cooling properties of tulsi, warm zing of ginger, and a natural sweetness of jaggery, which is an unrefined sugar, to create an exclusive aromatic flavor combination that keeps you uplifted, rejuvenated, and hydrated through the day. So you drop a bag of this into water. Let's open it up and see. I'm sure that the bags are wrapped. This comes with 10 infusion bags. So yeah, so you drop this into some cold water, shake it well, leave it for five minutes, and then you can enjoy your drink. Next up is a skincare item. It is from Plant Based Beauty, and this looks very, very familiar. I think I've received this in a previous subscription box, but I cannot remember which one it was. I know that I haven't tried this yet though, so I will give this one a shot. It is one of those masks that you have to blend together. And this is plant-based beauties, avocado and aloe, nope, avocado and algae face mask. So this all natural avocado and algae face mask face mask was handmade by Monica, who was the founder, who is the founder of plant-based beauty. It promises instantly noticeable soft and clean skin, and it features nourishing superfoods of avocado, spirulina, and morgana. Morgana and Moringa that give your skin the vitamins that it needs. So it says that this is best to use on damp skin. I am going to be using this in a first impression, see how it goes, sort of really short video over on my other social medias. Uh, so over on Instagram and over on TikTok, I am going to be linking those profiles in the description box down below so you can check them out. Go follow me over there if you would like and see how this mask from Plant Based Beauty works. Next up is a staple from nearly every subscription box I've ever received that has a subscription box that comes out in the summer. It is a sun relief gel, but it's a sun and sting relief gel. So that is a little different. This is from Stream to Sea. This is an eco-conscious soothing gel. Soothes your skin after sun exposure, insect bites, or stings. And this features a blend of green tea, Tulsi Wakame, Wakame, 
and olive leaf. Next up is a set that I definitely will find really convenient to just throw in my bag. And here is a cutlery set. And I like that it came with an actual container. I've bought some in the past that one, I didn't think that they were really good quality once they came in. Uh, the bamboo just sort of like splintered. So like an inferior set to me. This is nice and smooth though, and doesn't look like it will. And also it didn't come with with something to throw it in the bag so that I kind of found always inconvenient to do so. This is from Full Circle and this is part of their Waves of Change collection. And if you like what this looks like, this is made from recycled plastic bottles. If you like the look of it, just to let you know, it does come in all of these different types. So it comes in large, medium, and small totes. Um, it also comes in snack pouches, larger pouches, and of course the utensil set and its pouch. So you have three utensils here, the knife, your fork, and your spoon. I'm really glad to see that these were put in here because that is something that I want it to start carrying again now that I'm starting to go and eat out a little more. I wanted to start carrying these. I wanted to start carrying utensils with me, shall I say? And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know where to buy another set because I wanted some quality ones. So glad that Earth Love sent some over. Three items left to go, and the one I just pulled out, like it's a it's a hefty sort of thing. We have four silicone reusable bags from Net Zero Co. And they also gave a, like with a discount code off of the next purchase, they gave one of these grow cards and this has spearmint seeds in it. I've seen mint plants in the local nurseries, but I've never seen it specifically, like those were peppermints. I've never seen a spearmint plant. So excited to grow this in my windowsill. So we have four different sizes here. So a small one, one that's a little larger. These two seem roughly the same size, maybe a little bigger. And then we have the largest. And just to show you how this works. All right, so this did take a little bit of elbow grease to kind of get into. It does have this little place that I guess you could hook if you were taking this, say like on a hike or you were putting it in some sort of backpack it just slides off like this and opens like a regular like plastic ziplocky sort of bag and then you just slide it back on that was a little bit easier to slide back on than it was to initially take off so i had been eyeing bags like this for the last few months and never really knew what size i wanted to get uh, because at least in the stores locally they have that you can either get one size, sort of like you would buy like plastic bags, like plastic zip, like plastic Ziploc bags, like you get one size and I didn't know which size I wanted. So super cool that they sent over all four of their sizes. Next up is a kimono. I don't think I've ever received something wearable from Earth Love. This is an upcycled sari kimono from Guru. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So I'm I'm gonna show it to you and then put it on. So here we have the sleeves and the sleeves are the same on both sides. Bottom, I guess the bottom side, it has pockets. And then the back, oh my goodness, the back of this is gorgeous. And it has some slits at the bottom and it does come with a belt so i do love receiving wearables oh, mascara fell so i do love receiving wearables in subscription boxes but i'm always sort of like whenever i see that they're in there because i'm never exactly sure if they'll fit me specifically like robes and kimonos because I do have wide shoulders and I am plus sized. So, but this, ooh. So this does fit my shoulders. Like I can extend my arms. Oh, and it has some um, elastic type. Not exactly sure if it's elastic, but it has elastic feeling here. So you can move it up and down, the sleeves up and down. Let me say, I don't think that currently I could close this and belt it but it definitely does fit my shoulders which is a plus not with this outfit definitely wear this with 
something else. If you want to see what this looks like styled with something that it looks better with, like I said, head over to Instagram. I'll be posting pictures there. And then finally, each quarter, Earthlove does include a book in their subscription box. Now, they started a new thing with last quarter that you could go online and you could pick the book, and I completely forgot about that. So I didn't pick the book. They just sent me a book, which is perfectly fine. I'm glad to see that a book came, even though I didn't pick it. So you could have either received or chosen what Would the Buddha Recycle? A Mindful Guide to an Eco-Friendly Life. Vegan Style, Your Plant-Based Guide to Fashion, Beauty, Home, and Travel. Or the book that I received, Our Wild Calling. How Connecting with Animals Can Transform Our Lives and Save Them. Just so you can see. Here are the three book choices. Now they did send a reminder. Let me say, I forgot about it. Earth Love does send a reminder that it's time to pick your book. But whenever I saw that, I guess like my mind just was like, oh, that's nice. And drifted away to something else because I never actually clicked on the link to do so. Let me read you a little synopsis about Our Wild Calling in case you were interested. So Richard Louv's landmark book, The Last Child in the Woods, inspired an international movement to connect children and nature. Now Louv redefines the future of human-animal coexistence. Encounters with other animals can happen in a flash or over time, in wilderness or in the city. Our Wild Calling explores the powerful and mysterious bonds we share with all living creatures and how strengthening them can transform our mental, physical, and spiritual lives, serve as an antidote to the growing epidemic of human loneliness and um, as individuals and as a species, and help us tap the empathy required to preserve life on Earth. Our Wild Calling is a blend of personal stories and cutting-edge science. Louv spent four years talking with researchers, theologians, wildlife experts, indigenous healers, psychologists, and others to show how people are communicating with animals in ancient and new ways, how dogs can teach t children ethical behavior, how animal-assisted therapy may yet transform the mental health field, and what role the human-animal relationships play in our spiritual health. He reports on wildlife relocation and on how the growing population of wild species in urban areas are blurring the lines between domestic and wild animals. So this book sounds great, as did the first book, the landmark book, uh, The Last Child Last Child in the Woods. I'm going to have to check that out sometimes this year as well. Definitely going to be putting this into my August to be read list. So in my opinion, the Summer Earth Love Box definitely did deliver products that I am going to love using or, you know, a book that I'm going to love reading. However, I do know that a lot of people find the value of a subscription box in the retail value. So let's quickly go over the retail value of this box. First off, we have our book. So the books of the seasons could have retailed anywhere from $15 to $28, depending on what book you chose or or which book you were sent, this book is the $28 book. I realize now, wow, I was very confused. Design is the brand and the ginger and jaggery was the blend type. See, I got it, I got it backwards. So regardless, this tea blend has a retail value of $8. The upcycled sari kimono, and I realize now as I'm reading this, I never really talked about this. So this is from Canadian based company called Guru. And these kimonos are handcrafted with upcycled fair trade saris, most which are made from bamboo viscose and art silk or artificial silk that have been collected by bartering with Indian villages. And the designs of this are one of a kind and will vary. So if you get this box, you may not necessarily receive this exact design. This kimono has a retail value of $110. Well, that's an attractive face. Now it's probably the time that I should tell you that this summer box is actually, uh, this is the last day to buy the summer box. So if you like the products within this box, today is the last day to get this box. I kind of forgot that I edited this footage and uh, forgot to upload it in all honesty. So I didn't want to upload it though, just in case you're watching it after the 13th of August. 
that uh, this is the type of products that you will receive in future Earth Love boxes. The storage bag set from Net Zero Co. has a retail value of $47.96. The face mask and spoon from Plant Based Beauty has a retail value of $22. The Sun and Sting Soothing Gel from Stream to C, that's a lot of S's in there, has a retail value of $13. And then finally, we have our set from a full circle. This has a retail value of $15. All together added up that puts my Earth Love Summer Box at a grand total of $249.96. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this season's box. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. If you have not done so already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. That way YouTube will let you know each and every time I upload a new video. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye!